Okay, and so on this problem, we need to rationalize the denominator. And to rationalize the denominator on a problem like this, we need to use the difference of two squares. Because I need to square the 7 and I need to square the 3, but I can't just directly square them. Because if I do, I'm going to be left with the square root of 21 term in the middle. So what I do is I multiply the top and the bottom by the difference of two squares, which would be square root of 7 minus square root of 3. That will give me the difference of two squares on the bottom, thus getting rid of the radicals. So multiply the top together, you're just going to do the distributive property. So you're going to have 8 root 7 minus 8 root 3. And then that's going to be all over. Well, difference of two squares says you can square these two, which is 7. Square these two, which is negative 3. Right? Ne square root of 7 times square root of 7 is just 7. Square root of 3 times square root of 3 is just 3. And then you don't need the middle term because the middle term cancels out. That's how we designed it. You'd get If you wanted the middle term, it would be negative square root of 21, positive square root of 21, which is 0. Right? The square root of 21s would cancel themselves out. So this is going to equal 8 root 7 minus 8 root 3 all over 4. Well, you can always factor 4 out of this top. 4 times 2 root 7 minus 2 root 3. And I, I factored out the 4 because now these can cancel out. The two 4s can cancel. And so that leaves you just with 2 root 7 minus 2 root 3. So in this, this step, we have the denominator rationalized. And then this step, we do some simplification. So your answer is 2 root 7 minus 2 root 3.